Hey guys, so this week I've been playing Sniper Elite version 2, which if you don't know is a game that's not really a sequel, kind of a remake of a game from back on the, like, the Xbox and PS2. Uh, you're a sniper in World War II, running around, sniping all the Nazis, and occasionally the Russians, and you go around and it's kind of sneaky and stealthy, but is it any good? Does it feel like a game that came out 10 years ago, or does it, you know, stand up to like the, the hitmans of the day? Well, here's my opinion, Sniper Elite. Version 2. Sniper Elite Version 2 is not so much a sequel to the original, but it's more of a reimagining. It's got better graphics and, you know, some new gameplay elements and all that stuff that you would imagine in a sort of reboot, reimagining thingamabobber. Not having played the original, I don't know how much the story and characters and voice acting translate from the original to this version. The story takes place, obviously, during World War II, and you are a sniper who has to go in and basically snipe all these Nazis that are building V2 rockets and destroy their facilities. And since you're only one dude, you have to do it a little quietly and not draw too much attention, otherwise the full force of the Nazi army will be down on your head. There are a couple of different mission types that you'll go through throughout the single player campaign and multiplayer, but essentially you have to sneak into a location where you get a good vantage point of sniping things or some objective like blowing something up and then sneak out without being seen. Sometimes the mission will be get to a really tall building so you can snipe this one specific guy or get to a spot and sneak inside a facility and plant all these bombs and then get out before anyone notices. You use things like cover to hide behind things so you can see around walls and wait for the patrols to pass by. You can also like throw a rock to get their attention to go somewhere else and sneak past them. You also have a silenced pistol which you can use to take out guys at really close range. And while using your sniper rifle is rather loud and will give away your position, if there's other noise like church bells ringing or bombs going off, it will mask the sound of your shot so you can actually take the shot without anyone noticing. Well, except for the guy you're aiming at whose head just exploded. One of the coolest mechanics in this game is the kill cams. If you're shooting at a guy from a fairly long distance away and aiming at a specific spot, you will activate a kill cam. This will slow down time and follow the bullet as it exits your gun and travels along the path till it hits the guy. And then if you're aiming at his head or a specific vital organ, like the lungs or whatever, you will actually see the bullet enter in and then an x-ray view of all the damage it does inside the body as it exits. The kill cams are very grotesque in all the best ways that video games can be, and it's just so fun to watch a guy's head just go and then you see his eye go and all the gross stuff. If for some reason stealth and subtlety and awesome looking kill cams are not your sort of thing, you can actually pick up your Thompson submachine gun or one of the other submachine guns and go through the game and just blast people away. Unfortunately, submachine guns are about as accurate as any submachine gun of the World War II era is, and you don't carry a lot of ammo, so it's not like you can just Rambo your way through. It's not Call of Duty, it's a stealthy sniper game. At least most of the time it's stealthy. There are a number of occasions where it kind of forces you into confrontation and there's no way out other than fighting your way through. And these are the times when things can actually get kind of difficult because although you are pretty powerful on your own, you're still kind of not great at taking on large groups of people. You have a sniper rifle, which is pretty much a one-hit kill weapon, but you have to stick your ass out for quite a long time in order to actually make a hit. And it seems like the enemies, even with submachine guns at rather large distances, are pretty good shots. You also on occasion have to fight other snipers who just kind of appear on rooftops and you're like, oh hey, there's a sniper there, I should probably deal with him. And quite a lot of times you'll kill everyone in an area and then take three steps and cross an imaginary line and 15 more people will spawn. This can lead to the game's more frustrating aspects. Oh, come on, really? Really? No, you know what? Fine, yeah, I just single-handedly took out a company of Nazis and two Panzer tanks, but no, no, no checkpoints for me, I guess. That's fine, I'll just do the whole thing over again. Besides the single player, there's also a couple of different multiplayer co-op modes, like just going through the campaign with a buddy, or trying to fight off a bunch of waves of guys with a buddy, or trying to escort somebody, you know, with a buddy. Adding a second person to the game adds some interesting aspects because it gives you a little bit more leeway. You get a guy to watch your back while you're planting all the traps and you can like get them all to chase you while he snipes them all off and you know, all kinds of crazy things. That is of course if you can ever actually find anyone to play with you online, which can be kind of difficult. My final opinion of Sniper Elite? Eh. You know, I mean, it's all right. It's kind of fun. The kill cams, I think, are great. They're, they're the saving grace of this game. Uh, overall, I think it, it kind of forces you into action a few too many times. You can't just stealth your way through like in a lot of these types of games. And it, I don't know, it's, 
it feels very linear. The stealth stuff isn't like there's not very open paths and discover things. It's pretty clear where you go. It's it, it's just kind of an all right game. It feels kind of like an, an older game. It, I don't know, it doesn't really stand out to like the Splinter Cells of the day or the, the modern day stealth action games. Uh, it's pretty good, I, but it's also like $50 right now. So maybe if it drops in price when it's $30 or $20, definitely worth a pickup. But at $50, uh, not worth it.